dead. Okay, wait, wait. Okay, guys. So this is the remote control racing car um, by Epoch Air. I looked on YouTube and there's really not much content about it. Not a single video even shows the actual item. It's just a bunch of pictures. So uh, I figured we'd check it out, see what's inside, see how it runs, and hopefully it's good because uh, the reviews on it are very good. Uh, I believe 30 minutes of battery time, like non-stop, that's really good. Um, between 15 to 20 kilometer miles per hour, that's really fast for an RC car this little. So, pretty excited to see this car. He's more excited than like, are you ready to open the box? Are you ready? Here we go! Here it comes. Here it goes. So we're going to open it. And we already know exactly what's inside. I think. It should be a car and her remote controller. What? It's got suspensions? That's sick. Here it goes. Oh, Damn. Damn. Alright, included in the box. Oh, batteries are included. Three AAA batteries, this for the remote. What? And uh, the rechargeable batteries. Okay. It charges via USB, so that's good. That's what it looks like. Yeah. Alright, so I'm trying very hard to understand what the included screwdriver is for. It definitely doesn't unscrew the, 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 you know, the battery, the back of this, to open the battery for the car. Nor does it unscrew the one for the remote. So, uh, I think that's a fail unless I'm missing something here because... I, I don't know what I'm supposed to unscrew with it. It doesn't even unscrew anything on the actual car. It happens, you know, somebody in the factory was like, eh, it's the last one, let's just throw one of these in there. I don't know what they did, but this absolutely doesn't open anything in here. But, who doesn't have a screwdriver at home? And we're not gonna nitpick. What we want to know is, is this a good racing car, remote control car? Here I said 30 minutes runtime, but since it comes with two batteries, when one runs out, you get another 30 minutes with the other battery. So that's an entire hour. In a tiny car like this, that can supposedly run 15 to 20 kilometer miles per hour. That's crazy. So. I don't think this is really an indoor, an indoor remote control car like the the other small little ones I have around here. This I might actually have to take into like a parking lot or something, empty parking lot. Uh, we'll find out soon. But uh, we'll just charge the batteries real quick. Actually, these normally come with a little bit of battery. Okay, about to set it up real real quick. Bam! It's set up. That's how easy it is. So easy. Oh. I'm setting it up, man. Right? And so while this, we're using this one, we're gonna charge the other battery. Uh, the remote control itself takes three AAA batteries and it's nice that they included batteries. Where's the last one? The last one is right there. 
Nee, did you hide it? Alright. Alright, so I'm not gonna start it up because it's gonna excite him and he's gonna wanna use it. I'm excited. First he's going to have to change and we're gonna do this outside. Oh wait, what is Yeah, but you have to change first. See you in a little bit. We'll show you how it looks when you're actually using it. I don't want to use it here indoor because I know he's about to like run into something and he could possibly break it. If we're out in the open space where we're going to be in a little bit, here in like 20 seconds, then it doesn't matter because supposedly this reaches like 160, 180 feet. Are you ready for this? So this can actually go really far away from the remote. And you know it's it's legit for me when an antenna is not present, you know? That means they're using some other kind of technology that I don't know about. Um, see you in a little bit. We're just gonna let it charge a little bit more and then we're gonna take it outside for a spin. Which I remember when it said we were gonna go to the parking lot. It was way too cold for that, so we're going to the backyard. There's really not that much, uh, I guess, cement here. But we'll see what it runs like on, on the sidewalk and on the grass. Um, let's check it out. Of this in action. I messed with it a little bit inside the house. Uh, it's pretty fast. I think it's fast enough to where you shouldn't play with it inside the house, especially if this is your driver. He doesn't he definitely doesn't have a license to drive yet. So let's go outside. Okay, come on, look out for the water. Are you ready? Are you excited? Yeah. I'll give you a kiss first, Dilly. Give me a kiss first. I'm okay, gonna turn it on. And then look, oh, I forgot to mention the LED lights are actually off the chain. That looks really cool. LED lights. You ready? Yeah. Right here, I'm gonna teach you how to use the remote. This is to go forward. So this is the remote, very simple. Go forward. I want okay. to play with this. This is to go forward? Okay, he's ready. Turn left. So maybe you can drive it around the house if your kid is a good driver and if you have a lot of living room space. Now we definitely gotta go. We're gonna change the battery. Come here, we're gonna change the battery. <laughs> so I think this is perfect for kids his age. You know, not too much power, too heavy, won't hurt anyone. So I definitely recommend. Thank you, Kuya Russell. Yeah, I forgot to mention this was gifted to him by. So shout out to Russell for the awesome gift for the kids. 